we are given an equation and they said one of the roots now let's pause there uh, what do roots mean roots have different meanings in maths but it means well not different meanings but different words or different understand you can say it's the answers you can call it the x-intercepts and yeah those are mostly what you can think of when you think of roots so they tell us that one of the answers is minus one so if for example I gave you something like this and I made that equal to zero and you went ahead and you factorized this as x minus 4 and x plus 1 your answers would be x equals to 4 and x equals to minus 1 these are called the roots now what that actually means is that you were trying to make this side equal to 0 okay and mathematically there are two numbers that you could use that will make that true either 4 or minus 1 so what that means is that if you had to plug 4 into here it would equal zero because that's one of the answers so what it means for us in our question over here is that if you plug in minus one in the place of x it should make this equation true so we can plug so they tell us one of the roots is minus one so we can plug that in so minus one and then we don't know what k is but we know that the whole answer should be zero and then we can just say 1 plus 7 plus k equals to 0. And if you had to go solve for k, you would see that k is equal to negative 8. And now that's question A. Now question B says determine the other roots, so determine the other answer. Well, what we do now is we can go fill in that um, negative 8 in the equation. And now we just go and do our normal factorizing. And we'd find that x minus 8 and x plus 1 if you had to factorize that one. And so x is 8 or x equals negative 1. Now check this out guys. We already knew that one of the answers was negative 1. But now we found the other one. So the other answer is going to be x equals to 8.